Hello, welcome to my fake unboxing because I've already unboxed this and used it a bunch. Because <laughs> I did film an unboxing, but it it sucked. I was way too far away. You couldn't see any of the cards and I just couldn't be bothered to do it again because I wanted to mess around with it. Anyway, this is a postcard that uh, was sent with this. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the queen of wands in this deck. Oh, this is the deck. Here it is. Daydreaming in C2. It's a tarot deck by Annie Farrar. And here we go. In the original place in C2. That's what that means. I'm so glad I put that there. Also, I think that's how you say it. I was saying in situ. And maybe that's how you say it. So we have uh, some extra cards. Tarot resources. Very cool. Art history resources online and also books. I remember when I first opened this in the first unboxing, I was like, <gasps> books. <laughs> like, ooh, <laughs> please tell me. Um, and then there's a how to read a tarot, how to read a tarot, how to read tarot, little clear instructions. And I love that there's no like meanings, you know, this is an RWS clone or not clone. It's very, it, but you know what I mean? You can tell that's RWS based. It's amazing. Nice box. Or where, what are we doing now? They're the backs, barely. What am I... What is happening? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Uh, here's the Fool card. I'm obsessed. I love this freaking Fool card so much. I just made another video where I was doing 22 faves. I'm not putting it up, but this I already put in there. It's it's like the, the stairway. It's the stairway is like going up or like down. It's... That's so cool. And then like the, the colors, like that dreamy sort of like cloudy blue purple. It's... Yeah let's it's yeah it's the fool <laughs> so the stairs it's like in oh my gosh I'm not gonna be able to do this fast enough okay the magician I love the magician so much in this deck also what am I doing <laughs> oh my gosh this will be fun this is fun I love this magician card so much this is I think the only magician card that I've ever been able to relate to um in like a way that like as someone who doesn't publicly identify as a magician, here's the high priestess. Um, as someone who doesn't publicly identify as like uh, some, uh, you know, th those things, it really the magician card is always really difficult for me. But the magician card in this deck is perfect, and I'll get into that in a different video at some point. Uh, this Empress card, I... Okay, so I'm obsessed with the layering in general, but this card, there's a few cards in here in particular that stand out more than others in terms of when I look at it, I'm literally transported into the card, and the Empress is one of them. The Emperor. So something else I really love about this deck... I mean, I maybe already just... I literally just said it, but it's the layers. It's the... So I, I'm... I love collage decks, and I always have loved collage decks. So the Voyager Tarot was sort of difficult for me because there's so much going on. And in this deck, there's a lot happening. There's a lot of different, like, there's texture and there's layers. But because it's not different objects, because it's these... They are different objects, but it's mostly about the textures and the colors. Um, here with, like, the... You can see the paper being layered over, which is a different style of, of collage that I typically think of in a collage deck. It's very, it's interesting to me. Um, but in this one, the, the thing that I'm getting those like intuitive hits, like when we, we discuss that, it's from the textures. It's from the looking at the way this, you know, the, the golden rod like patch in the sky makes me feel inside, you know? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's so, I'm having such a good time with this deck. The little lemon escape. So it has those those typical imagery for an RWS also. But I mean, it's, you know, you just read tarot, you read how you read. This is, I love this hermit card. For 22 faves, I picked this one also. As someone who's struggling with agoraphobia, I relate to the hermit card um, a lot. And this one really, I don't know, it gives that like particularly like a like the suffocating aspect of it another 22 fave wheel of fortune it's just sort of a classic wheel of fortune take i think but the images chosen 
are amazing. Maybe I'll do a flip through where I do a good job, like, showing the cards and holding them up. My goodness, what is happening? I think I was re rearranging something. Maybe I should have, like, edited the video before I did a voiceover. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I could even think I had to do something such as that. So these cards are not numbered, so you can change 8 and um, 11, Strength and Justice, if you would like. I just kept them in this order because it is an RWS. She's also working on a Thoth collage. Ooh, I cannot wait. Thoth collage, man. That, like, is music to my ears. S so good. I'm also outside with my dog, so I'm probably yelling at my dog. You know? I'm not yelling. I don't yell at her. But sometimes you need to be assertive to keep them safe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and she's a dog she's not like a kid or something anyway what the heck so I particularly love sky in this deck and also water um and something I'm really excited to use this deck all the time but in the winter time I think it's going to be really special okay the fluorescent lighting in this temperance card I'm obsessed <laughs> it's a I don't know I just like I should have I should have talked to Annie a little bit more about some of the things like like or asked about certain choices um but it's fun to just sort of make your own meaning or just enjoy it for its just just its existence even I forgot what I was talking about before I got distracted by the fluorescent lights obviously that happened here's the tower card I also like that the there's this um these like maroon Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I keep talking, and then the star card. This star card is the um, is like the empress for me too, where I I'm there. Um, and it reminds me of what I was saying before, which is the sky in these cards. It's gonna be really helpful in the winter time when the sky goes away where I live. It doesn't exist anymore. When we get the dogs in the moon card, we got the lobster gangs all here. The water. It's so beautiful. Okay, this sun card is probably my favorite sun card I've ever seen in my whole entire life. This sun card and then uh, another card coming up. It's a uh, 22 fave for real. I couldn't finish filming the 22 faves because I couldn't really do it. This judgment card is beautiful. Also, feel free to, to mute. I imagine this is perhaps annoying. <laughs> okay, this world card. Oh my god. This is, like, the this world card is just... I don't really... I don't usually like the world card. I honestly don't. Like, in the 22 faves thing I was just doing, I was, like... I was struggling with some things, but, but for the ones I was struggling with, this deck, like, did it. And the world was one of them. Um, it's amazing. Now we're moving into the cups. So in, uh, in this deck, she used these, like, maroon or burgundy, whatever color that is, um, cups for the cups and there it's also the wands so there's this I really like that there's this similarity throughout this cohesion is that a word and this is okay so when I was looking through this deck and using it I'm I'm really into the minors like usually I feel like the there's like the majors are so good and like oh man you just like I just think about the majors in certain decks like more often than I think about the minors and that's sort of changing doing like the deck and walk too but in this deck it, it really I noticed that that I was like more taken with the minors oh also not even not just the minors but the court cards we're gonna get into them in the first video um I I laid out all these other, the, the cards, but I couldn't do it here because I was outside. Um, but yeah, like I laid out all the pages and then all the knights and all the queens and all the kings. Oh my gosh, the seven of cups is so cute. Look at the things that are inside the cups. There's like a skeleton and like a snake. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite seven of cups now in terms, in like a, an RWS sense in, and in general, it's beautiful. It's so cool. 
it's like I get excited and I don't I don't remember words I'm just like it's so beautiful it's so cool (laughs) oh man forgive me gotta rearrange nine of cups I just like to how like when looking at this like it it looks like I should be able to touch the the cups and be able to feel them you know or like some of the yeah like oh man you can't though if you can pretend page of cups yes look at this so in the in the in the court cards there's it's like really elemental i feel and like this one so like the cups have like a lot of very visible water the knights i think might be my particular fave i comment below like what do you think of the the like the layers of oh yes look at this this like marbled sky so beautiful but yeah what do you think of like the layered like not having you know this the seamless sort of collage um happening because i don't really think about it usually but i really like this wands And part of the thing, like I've mentioned before, is that there's these, all these different textures and like these different tones and it's, it makes me feel things. There's also something about the angles in which they're placed too. Like, you know, I don't know. I just relate to that in that way. It makes me think of ritual postures or like Buto, like the poetic movement. Like if I just like this one piece of gold paper catches my eye because and then I and then I feel it like in my like right lower gut and then if I just like tilt my body or my head to be facing in that same way like ritual posture style like what happens you know is this do I sound crazy (laughs) oh my gosh maybe I just really like it Oh, and I'm like, oh, wait, the backs. Let me show you. Funny. I think, too, because, like, because, you know, studying tarot, and this is the thing, is, like, I love tarot. I love to study tarot. I love uh, talking about decks and experiencing different things like that. And, like, this is the way that having a bunch of different decks is also interesting to me. Like, you, when, if you're studying tarot, you can read any deck, and it doesn't matter. It's just, like, a tool, right? Like, you, you're the, you're the thing, and this is the tool. Um... But sometimes there's just these like really compelling tools that that bring something else to it or make us feel these certain things. And this particular tarot deck, I feel like, is making me think of or feel things in a way that I hadn't considered almost. Like I really didn't think about or feel into like the textures in a deck and and the patterns and stuff like that and how that was making me feel, you know? And the wands, the the court cards are desert, like, pyramid stuff. It's really very beautiful. I don't know if that's interesting or not. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's interesting or not, but uh, I'm... It's just something that I've been exploring with this deck, and it's really... Oh, yeah, there's, like, a shirt. So, to ca- capture the blue, there's also, like, little shirts. Like, what? <laughs> it's so cool. Truly, truly an artist, you know? It reminds me of, like, when I was a kid, my mom was really into photography, and she still is, and the, she would just, like, point things out to me when I was a small child. Oh, there's the dog. Funny. Um, (laughs) Point things out to me, you know, like, the way that, like, the sun was shining through branches, or, like, the, you know, the lines and the angles of things and stuff like that, and it really, it really stuck with me, and for a really long time, I didn't have that anymore. 
I wasn't able to to see and appreciate beauty in that way because of I don't know sort of withdrawing from from life because of a lot of different reasons this is one of my favorite three of swords ever this is so beautiful the way that sky is it's like rippling but yeah I this deck it reminds me of that that you know noticing those things more and expanding it's it it's art you know it's it's amazing seven of swords i might be going too fast or too slow with some of these and i apologize eight of swords i'm not like um i love this nine of swords i'm not a a professional i'm just this is just for fun you guys <laughs> Ton of swords. Page of swords. I, the sky is amazing. The sky is particularly amazing in some of these. Yes. Queen of Swords. Oh, man, I just I'm like watching this and doing this voiceover and I just wanna I just wanna not be doing this. <laughs> and I wanna be shuffling this deck and looking at it and hanging out with it. That was the King of Swords. I'm going a little quick, which I'm enjoying right now, but it's not great for the video, huh? ace of discs and i'm like but here i'm like yes go faster <laughs> two of discs i love this two of discs this one's always always st stuck out to me so i wanted this deck for as long as i have known about it which is for over a year now um i think i backed it on kickstarter but couldn't afford it at the time so i had to unback it and then it just wasn't happening but i don't i don't go on instagram i only go on instagram to look at some some decks sometimes and i've stopped doing that completely i've stopped um but this is one that I was like, I would just go to Instagram and sort of like peep. And there hasn't been a like a walkthrough or a flip through or anything about it on YouTube. And I've been looking because I want to look at it, you know, when I love something, I want to look at it. <laughs> it's true. I do. I love this. I love this so much so like the it's like a looking over like a town i think that's so interesting i love it <laughs> eight of discs nine of discs i love her all those trees man ten of discs page of discs Ooh, nine night of discs i said nine of discs queen of discs oh my god i love her i love that postcard I'm hanging it up above where I do readings. Here it is. It's so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> what a dork. King of discs. Goals. <laughs> All right. What am I doing now? Am I going to shuffle it? I think I do shuffle it and I think I don't do a great job of bridging it up but it shuffles great oh oh wait did i do it well okay <laughs> i can't really see the like recording thing is and i it's it's a bigger deck too and i'm i don't have small hands i have long fingers but i have small hands 
I have those spidery, I'm like, when I'm an older lady, it's, my hands are going to look so gross and creepy to children. <laughs> it's got those spidery freaking hands, man. I guess I'm done. And I'm saying goodbye. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs>